Hello everyone. On the evening of August 4, about 2.5 kilometers away, in the city's port, a powerful explosion had sent a huge orange fireball into the sky, followed by a massive shockwave that overturned cars, damaged buildings, and shook the ground across the Lebanese capital. It was a moment of great fear says, a genomics researcher at the American University of Beirut. Lebanese authorities say that the explosion, which killed at least 220 people, injured more than 5,000 and left an estimated 300,000 people homeless, was caused by 2,750 tons of ammonium nitrate. This chemical compound commonly used as an agricultural fertilizer, which had been stored for six years at a port warehouse. An investigation into what triggered the explosion is underway, and early reports suggest that it was probably a nearby fire. The image above is a damage proxy map, created by scientists, affiliated with NASA's Advanced Rapid Imaging and Analysis Team, and the Earth Observatory of Singapore. Dark red pixels represent the most severe damage, while orange and yellow areas are moderately or partially damaged. Each colored pixel represents an area of 30 meters by 30 meters, about the size of a baseball infield. This tragedy is one of the largest industrial accidents involving the explosive chemical, and it hit Lebanon amid the coronavirus pandemic and an economic crisis, a political crisis, and a health crisis. The same incidents happened in the past 1921, an explosion at an ammonium nitrate factory in Germany, killed 561 people and could be heard hundreds of kilometers away. And in 2015, the detonation of around 800 tons of ammonium nitrate in the port of China killed 173 people. What is the problem in ammonium nitrate? Ammonium nitrate is cheap to buy and usually safe to handle, but storing it can be a problem. Over time, the compound absorbs moisture, which can make the beads stick together into a huge rock. When such a large quantity of compacted ammonium nitrate is exposed to intense heat if, say, an accidental fire breaks out it can trigger an explosion. The shock wave following a such a blast can be deadly. The explosion produces an area of high pressure that travels faster than the speed of sound, shattering glass and injuring people. 